Hello, I am Dr. Nupur Sood. I am an obstetrician, gynecologist and a gynec laparoscopic surgeon. I have been practicing for the last 10 years. And at present, I am working at Bomna Halli, Osur Road, Bangalore. As a routine to screen for any chromosomal abnormalities, especially 16, 18 and 21, as a routine these days we do the double marker or at least the quadruple marker test in the patients. But then these are not uh, specific tests, they will only tell you whether you are in the low risk category or the high risk category. Now if you are in the high risk category, you need to go in for certain further investigations. In itself is not pointing out and telling that your baby is a Downs baby. It just says you belong to a higher population which uh, may be in the higher incidence group of having a Down syndrome baby. So then you need to confirm it further. If your NT scan which is a nuchal translucency scan is coming normal, the chances are very good that it, it's all going fine. But still if there is still certain high risk factors especially like if it is a IVF conceived baby or the age group is more than 35 years of age, there are certain other medical disorders such as diabetes and you're looking for you know some problems or a hereditary disorder is there in the family previous Downs baby, then these, uh, in these cases we go in for further testing called as amniocentesis wherein the fluid around the baby has certain cells of the baby itself which can be picked up through ultrasound guidance and they are the specific test for confirming the diagnosis of whether it's a normal or abnormal baby. But since it is an invasive test, it is usually given a second preference and something non-invasive and simple blood test like a double marker, quadruple marker is what is suggested initially. There has also been an advancement where uh, we have a certain blood test which can be also done instead of this invasive uh, amniocentesis but this is still under a lot of uh, research work. So at present we are continuing with the amniocentesis if we want to confirm the diagnosis.